Okay, I just can't resist. <laughs> I've been wondering the past few days what it would look like if I um, take a print of my hand. Because, yeah, well, gel printing and, and monoprinting is really all about interesting textures and, and for me also interesting shapes and so on. And what more interesting texture and interesting shape than my own hand or any hand for that matter, but I have my own. <laughs> so uh, welcome to Gel Printing July. Today I'm just going to do that and uh, Let's see, I, I don't know if um, if my, my uh, lines of my hand will actually show up on the print. So uh, yeah, I really want to find out. <laughs> so of course it's, it's, it's a really uh, simple subject, you know, just your own hand. But um, yeah. The intricacy of of the of um, yeah the 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 patterns and textures of of the hand are are just uh, gorgeous. So I hope I can uh, I can <laughs> I can get a print of it. I really don't know. I also don't know how much paint I should use. Should I keep it um, really thin or thick? I guess we'll just have to find out. So um, yeah, let me take, well, first off, I'm thinking I want to use my left hand because uh, my right hand is my dominant hand. I use that to do everything. So <laughs> I'm glad I thought of that before, <laughs> before using my right hand. And uh, let me take off my ring. I think that's also uh, smart. And... I have prepared myself. I uh, have some baby wipes handy. I think <laughs> they will be useful. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to find out. Let's see. Maybe, maybe I I can get a nice print. Maybe it will just be a total fill. You you will uh, find out together with me. <laughs> so let me get my paints. So this is a paint that I've been using before. It's a nice dark violet kind of a color. I have to mix a bit more and I'll add the colors that I use, the paints that I used for this, I'll add this in the description along with all the supplies that I use. And my beautiful blue violet, light blue violet. And a bit of this. I'm using these colors quite a bit lately and I'm, I'm liking them a lot. I'm sure I have way too much paint already on my plate. But then again, I don't know exactly how much I will need. So perhaps it's not too much. Perhaps it's just enough. Or too little. Who knows? Okay. No. Just going to roll this. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I have some uh, tissue paper here. Let me keep that here as well. And Right. Yeah, I could of course do any kind of shape with my hand, but let's just do the classic open finger kind of shape. There we go. I don't know if I'm pressing hard, too hard, or not hard enough. <laughs> I wonder. I don't. I'm not sure if I can get all those beautiful little lines of my hand print, but probably I will get some of the outline of my hand. But let's just wait and see. 
trying not to move my fingers. And I can't, of course, now look at the other side <laughs> what it looks like. So uh, it will just be a leap of faith, I guess. I don't know, how close should I go to my fingers? Maybe as close as I can. Maybe I can still remove a bit here as well. But I hope I also still have an outline. All right, well, <laughs> let's see what is underneath. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that is really interesting. Uh, yeah, nothing of those. Uh, well, maybe a little bit of the lines. But um, most of the paint beneath my finger has transferred to my fingers so uh, that's good to know but of course here there's a little bit of a deeper <laughs> gap and here as well so you do see the shape uh, of my hand which is which is <laughs> kind of cool also so uh, i guess this is a uh, part one of the experiment and then i'll let this dry now clean my hand as much as I can and also the mess here and then uh, we can prepare the print okay so now that I'm almost <laughs> or almost <laughs> close to uh, clean now I wonder what it would have looked like if I had used the paint on my hand to create another print, either directly on paper or otherwise, maybe on another gel plate. So <laughs> I didn't think of that, how silly of me. But, um, well, that is something for another experiment, I guess. But uh, yeah, because maybe then I could have uh, transferred really also the, the patterns of the lines of my hand, who knows? Although, look here, I do see some lines as well, so, and here also. Anyway, I'm going to wash my hands clean and then uh, I'll come back when, uh, when I can uh, prepare my print. Yeah, so this looks dry enough. I uh, cleaned my hand <laughs> and my surface. So... Uh, Let's uh, prepare for my print. Okay, so this looks kind of gross, but <laughs> this is dry. And even if a little bit would transfer, then it's not a problem either. Okay, this needs to dry and then uh, we can pull the print. Okay. Let's have a look. And there is my hand. <laughs> well, hello there. There's actually a lot more of the lines of my hand visible than uh, what I initially thought what I could see through the through my base plate here also there are very fine lines I don't know if you can see that on the, on the video but here in real life I can definitely see them so uh, <laughs> It worked actually way better than than I uh, than I thought when I looked at uh, the print. 
This is really fun and cool. So yeah, there we go again. The texture and patterns of what is uh, in nature, in this case my own hand, are so cool and so intricate. Um, so <laughs> they are just fantastic to use for gel printing. I'm really happy that I tried this out. I'm uh, I'm really stoked about how uh, how it looks and how it turned out. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching it, <laughs> watching me smoosh my hand on the gel plate. Uh, it's not as bad as it uh, may uh, look. <laughs> And it was very easy to uh, get the paint off my hand. So uh, just <laughs> wash your hand right away. And of course, don't use any toxic kind of paint. But uh, yeah, this was really fun. And I, I love the print, how it turned out. So um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being with me on this uh, Gel Print July adventure. And... Uh, a big thank you to all my patrons who uh, make this possible and uh, yeah if you like this video please uh, support me by um, giving it a thumbs up if you uh, would like to uh, stay connected and keep following my videos please subscribe and then uh, yeah I'll see you back tomorrow